I always think I was very, very lucky actually to have Dad as a father. I mean, when we were kids, yeah, typical teenage things, you know, I can remember having horrendous rough fights with him when I was 17 and Mum being the referee and everything. But when you get older, um, you realise how lucky you were. He, he was very much a family man. Very proud of being from North Somerset, where him and Mum both from the same village, so Somerset was home. And he lived with me for the last 10 years of his life, which meant he became very, very close to my children and was like a second dad to them. So that was wonderful for them. You know, they're all very, very proud of him. Alex Dock was a mentor to us because we were young and he was like a headmaster. And he was, had so much respect from both of us and all the youngsters in the club. He was a fantastic man, um, very much wanted to play young players in the first team. Um, we had a lot of young players that went into the first team, did very well because they played for him and um, it was tremendous response by everybody to, in, towards him. He was a nice man, he was a genuine man, he was, um, he was honest and you knew where you stood with him. He'd tell you to your face if, if he needed to tell you anything and um, he wouldn't beat about the bush and uh, of course that comes from his army background. It's quite overwhelming at the moment. I mean, it's been, um, yeah, it's been a long time coming. You know, I think it's been well documented with the way Dad left QPR, and and it did leave a big hole in the family. And it's so, it's so good that finally, I think it's it's taken a lot for QPR to accept that there was a mistake and accept that they'd done wrong in the past. And I've got the greatest respect for the current regime and, and going this way to put it right. You know, and to actually acknowledge, yeah, we did. You know, it wasn't their fault. It was people before, but things weren't done properly, and now we're putting it right and showing Dad the sort of respect and appreciation that he should have had. Alec, as a manager, he was more like a general manager really. Um, he employed a coach to work with the team, but he was the leader and he actually was the person who made all the decisions as to whether you played in the team, whether you didn't. Um, and um, obviously from time to time, some of the youngsters that were coming through the youth policy at the time, we got promoted into the first team by Alec. Um, to give us a, a blood in basically and to get us grounded into uh, the first team, first team side and um, you know from then on um, you know we progressed basically. Fondest memory was obviously the League Cup, um, you know winning the League Cup. I don't think we never thought any doubt that we wouldn't win it but you know when you're losing 2-0 at half time and you come out in the second half um, and miraculously score three goals and yes that was brilliant.